Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video we are having an extreme whole house clean with me and to start it out I am starting in my office. So my office has been bothering me for a long time and I just never really got around to work on it because I just didn't know how I wanted to rearrange it. So I started off by moving this bin that was on the wall. Uh, if you don't know, this is what I do for my job. This is what I've been doing since I was 16. And so that's why you're probably going to be a little bit confused by how I organize and what I'm organizing. But anyway, I took this cube organizer and I put it on this wall instead. I feel like it just flows better with the room. And then I just cleaned off the shelves inside because they were a little bit dusty from doing like the kitchen renovations and they just needed a good dusting is all. So I cleared them out and then I am putting on the shelves the stuff that I am selling. And then I was able to make room in this pink little pullout drawer for all the other stuff that goes in there. I had actually got this cube organizer at Lowe's um, when they had like a really big clearance sale on like a bunch of their stuff. I got it for 12 bucks. It's not the best organizer, like it's really wobbly, but I mean for 12 bucks, you really can't beat that price. Um, and it works in my office and when I am done with this organizer and you know just want to find something else this will go either in the kids room or down in their playroom just for extra toy storage. I also wanted to take a minute because I noticed that we have some new faces over here and I wanted to introduce myself. Hi my name is Autumn and I work from home and I have two littles and I really like to create cleaning content lifestyle content over here on YouTube. I upload twice a week. I upload on Sundays and on Wednesdays and I would really love it if you guys could hang around and subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel. Once the organizer was where I wanted it to be and have everything out of the pink drawers, I moved on to this. So this is all bras and like bikinis. It's what I do. I like to sell um, women's clothing. It's just what I've always done. Um, I'm a reseller, so I go to like thrift stores and I find things for a really good price and then I flip it. Um, it's just what I've always done and so this has always been like my designated like bra bikini drawer and it was just overflowing and so I wanted to kind of make room at the bottom so they could fit in there perfectly and I have used it since filming this and I am so glad that I made space in there because it made finding things so much easier. This is all I found for organizing, um, organizing these at the moment um, and it works for me. Um, I might change it up down the road, but for right now, this is just what works. And you will also see me just chatting away because my husband decided to come sit down in my office and talk to me while the kids were playing. And so you'll see me getting really into the conversation. Also, I don't know if this is how it is at your house and if you have cats, but if my cats know that I am in a room trying to clean it, they will literally lay in the middle of the room and just groom themselves or they just sit there very patiently so they can see how I arrange everything and they get to scope out a freshly cleaned room.
I'm not going to lie to you. I do not recall the last time that I vacuumed in here. Uh, it was probably the time that I actually uh, shampooed the rug in here. And that was like four months ago. <laughs> and that was because I accidentally spilled coffee on the floor. So this office was in desperate need. I, I just really put off doing my office because... I spend a lot of time in here anyway getting my work done and then I don't really want to come in and clean it so I'm glad this was tackled and I don't have to stress about it anymore and now I can actually have a very functional office and not have boxes in my way or just have everything out where it shouldn't be. So once I had tackled that, I was on to making the meal plan for the week. And I don't know if anybody else is like this, but I absolutely hate figuring out what we're going to have for meals in the summertime because in the summer, you really have no idea what you're going to be doing. <clears throat> so for us, we use the Blackstone a lot. So we make burgers and hot dogs on there all of the time. But also in the summer, you know, we go to like, say, a carnival that happened or you know, we just want to go out and see somebody or go out and fish um, and then we get takeout. And so it's really hard to just figure out what we are going to have for dinner. So that's why you'll see me sitting here really just focusing. And at the bottom, I just put like open for Sunday, meaning like I can move one of the dishes to Sunday if we go out for takeout or something happens. I also want to note that I don't like doing um, like meal plans in the summer because I don't get my crock pot out and I don't know why but I feel like crock pot meals are meant for like cold fall days or winter days and I absolutely love my crock pot and I use it probably four times out of the week or more um, in the winter time. It's my absolute favorite and I will be uploading um, come fall time some really yummy crock pot recipes because they're delightful. <laughs> so with that being said, do you guys prefer using a crock pot or would you rather just make like soups and stuff like that on the stove? One thing that I haven't tried and I really want to, but I'm very intimidated is the instant pot. It just, it looks amazing, but like the, how you have to like release the, the pressure on it or something like that, that just freaks me out. And I just need to hurry up and take the leap and buy one because I've heard they're amazing at cooking dinners. So do you guys have an Instant Pot? If so, what are your recommendations? And let me know some of your favorite recipes that you make in them. I also don't even have a air fryer. We used to have some sort of air fryer like years ago and I hated cleaning it. It was like some off-brand that we had got at Walmart like three years ago. And when I tell you, you had to take every little piece apart to clean it or else it wasn't going to get cleaned. I absolutely hated it. But um, I've been looking at like the name brand ones and they look really easy to clean. So I'm thinking about getting one of those as well. Anyway, what's one of my cleaning videos if I do not include dishes or laundry and we're doing both. So right now we are tackling unloading and loading the dishwasher because I am flying through dishes right now. Like it is unbelievable. I want to get like the paper plates but then I know how bad it is for the environment. And so I think, you know, we're just gonna stick with using our plates and stuff like we normally would to put in the dishwasher. <laughs> but it is very tempting um, just because it's so quick and easy, but I know how harmful they are. I also wanted to note that our kitchen is fully done. We are fully able to get it completed. I found bar stools. I found literally everything that I have wanted to decorate it. So probably in the next month or so, I'm going to be doing a uh, full kitchen renovation tour because my husband did all of this by himself. Like I'll show you the before and after pictures because the kitchen did not look like this at all. Like we even had to move the window, everything, you name it. So I want to do a few more um, organization you know, going on in the kitchen, like in the drawers and stuff before I do that video. So I got to order some supplies off of Amazon. Maybe I'll run Dollar Tree and see what they have for it too. Um, 
So you'll see me do an org organization for the drawers in the kitchen coming up soon as well. Um, but yeah, so if you guys are thinking about doing a kitchen renovation, stay tuned for that video because we kept it on a budget and majority of the stuff we got was either on clearance or it was like a really good sale on Amazon. And now on to the sink. This is all the stuff that didn't fit in the dishwasher. So that meant I had to hand wash it because I did not want to see it in the sink anymore. The sink is so gross. And what bothers me the most with our sink is I think the faucet doesn't have enough water pressure behind it. Because like we have enough water pressure in like the showers and stuff. So I think it's just this shower head or not shower head, um, like the faucet head. Um, so I think... I don't know. I don't know if I can replace it. I don't know. I want to replace the the faucet because I got it for like on clearance at Lowe's and there's just not a lot of water pressure behind it to kind of like clean the sink. So lately I've just been filling up the coffee pot and then pouring it on the side to get any food down to the center of the drain so I could remove it because I was feeling lazy and did not want to take out um that little metal wire rack at the bottom to clean it. <laughs> so this is what I was doing.
anyway, I had completed that and now it is time to work on the countertops and I was working on the coffee corner. I love this little basket here for the coffee maker and my husband despises it. The other morning I woke up and I walked over to make a cup of coffee and I noticed it was gone. Like the wire basket was just gone and he had put it up and wanted to see if I would notice it missing <laughs> because he just hates it. Um, because when you put the coffee pot back in or take it out, it kind of gets stuck a little bit on like the edge of the basket. It does not bother me, but I guess it really bugs him. But I love this basket. I actually got it at Home Goods for 16 bucks. I actually got one off of Amazon like the week before I got this and it was too small for it. So it got put somewhere else. I think it's in the living room, but I really like this basket. I'm also on the fence of painting underneath of these cabinets because like the, the brown's just not the vibe down here. Or I could get like lights and put some lights underneath. I think that would look really cool and maybe brighten it up a little bit. And on to the island. These are the like sheet pans that I use to bake and you know, I use them for everything. And I don't know how to actually clean them so they look brand new from the store. And don't lie, I know we all have cookie sheets like that that they look horrible, but they're they're clean. Like you can't get any more cleaner. That's how mine are right now. And so I'm going to look up some sort of way to make them look new again so they don't look, you know, super crusty and old. I also wanted to take a moment and say, if you're a mom on my channel and you're watching my video and you kind of feel, I don't know, like, how to describe it um like when you're a mom you feel very lonely even though you have littles to talk to um motherhood is very lonely and it's difficult so i wanted to say if you ever feel that way if you ever feel like you're alone um and motherhood's just being difficult and you just need somebody to talk to please come on over to my instagram send me a dm talk to me i love making all sorts of new friends and I completely understand. Um, I stay home. My husband works all day and all I talk to is my littles and I know just how exhausting and how lonely it gets and some people don't really understand when you say that being a mom is lonely because how are you lonely? You you know, you always have somebody with you at all times but it really is just lonely. You know, you just kind of crave um, having a friend to talk to. So, with that being said, if you guys ever feel that way, if you ever feel like you just need somebody to talk to, please feel free to come on over to my Instagram, send me a message, and I'd love to talk to you. And now we are on to the kids' room. Oh, it's not their, like their room, but it's like their playroom. It's, it's exactly that. So this little tote uh, was upstairs, and my kids like to bring up a bunch of toys every time that they go from downstairs to upstairs and so I told them this is a tote can you please put toys that you want to go back downstairs to the toy room put them in this basket and I will take it downstairs and that's that and they actually did um they decluttered their toys they figured out the toys that they like to play with all the time they kept them upstairs in the bin upstairs 
And then they put the toys that they don't really play with too often, um, but they still play with them in the bin so that way they could go downstairs and they weren't constantly stepping on them. I have heard of people doing toy rotations and I think next time when like I declutter their toys, I'm going to try that instead of just immediately getting rid of them because people say that when you do that, the kids feel like they're new toys and they play with them, you know, like they were new. So I think I want to try that. I'm going to wait probably another month before I do that because my daughter's birthday is in September and she's going to get new toys and then I'm going to be overloaded with toys and no space. So that's what we're going to do is just go through, put some in a box, put them away for like a month or two, and then introduce those toys again and take another box out and see how that works. And then to end the video, we are putting a load of wash in so that way they can go out on the clothesline. But with that being said, this is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know down below. Subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed. Give me a like and comment down below and I will see you all next time.